Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, November the 22nd through to the 29th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Three of Pentacles upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Strength in the upright, and then we have Major Arcana. The Chariot Upright, followed then by the Knight of Swords. And lastly, we have the Ten of Wands, reversed. So, your overall energy, Leo, is that of the Three of Pentacles in the upright position. Three of Pentacles is a good card to have as your overall. It can be representative of getting together with people and being on the same page. That's why I like this energy because this is where everybody's moving in the same direction. Now this could be for some of you on the home front. Maybe you're working with other family members or friends to get things ready. Maybe you're a uh, change of season. Perhaps you're getting the house ready for the change of season and everybody's working diligently. Could be to do that. Could be to get the house cleaned up for holidays, whatever is going on. This is all about a little bit of a team it's a team effort where people are on the same page, working for the same end. Good news for those of you in work situations, especially if you're in a team setting. It could be that you're working together to get a project completed or finished or even started, whatever the situation is. And sometimes this is good news if you are working, like physically working at building something. If you're all putting together, like, you know, renovating a home or something like that. Everyone's on the same page. Everybody's agreeing. And when there's cooperation, things tend to, and when there's cooperation, things tend to move smooth. And we can complete projects a lot faster in a cooperative environment as opposed to when there's, you know, it's, reversed and it's there's chaos everywhere and people are all working at different ends this shows cooperation everybody moving in the same direction very good news and that's a good energy to have as your overall now coming right at the beginning of the week we do have the beautiful energies of the strength in the upright position this is where we're drawing upon our own natural strength it could be <laughs> for many reasons it's always welcome energy when it comes up in a reading i find because this is to show us that no matter what we're facing or dealing with this week um our own inner strength will help us to keep getting through especially if you're working on a project or a specific situation this is just rely on your own inner strength here it's beautiful energy uh strong solar plexus with the yellow and this is about gentle strength. This is not about brute strength. This is just about gentle persuasion. If you're trying, again, if you're working with others, perhaps it's just gentle persuasion of getting them to cooperate with you. Um, it could just be an, an era of, or an aura of that. Maybe there's just a lot of, I'm feeling for some of you, this is pertaining to the group situation, the strength card here. Maybe you're all um, drawing upon that gentle strength in order to complete, especially if it's something complicated, you know, or difficult. So, you know, maybe some of you are moving or things like that and you need everybody to be coordinated or what what's happening. You know, just keep the strength, keep everything moving in the right direction. And if you're moving in the right direction, you do. More yellow coming here. It looks like at the beginning of the week, at least, um, Leo, there is strong... Uh, <clears throat> strong solar plexus here you're um very confidently moving forward with the chariot energy this is cancer somebody could be dealing with a cancer um but this is um about forward movement fast towards a victory or achieving some kind of goal it could be about travel some of you perhaps are purchasing a vehicle or thinking about purchasing a vehicle putting those plans um, in order, others of you are thinking about traveling. Maybe you're planning a road trip or a trip somewhere. Um, others of you could just be moving very, very quickly towards your goal. I always say, just don't steamroll over anybody's toes. It's fast forward movement because in the chariot energy, we know exactly where we're going. We have a vision. We're almost like got the blinders on and we're moving directly towards that fast victory. And moving towards the weekend, we do have the energies now of the Knight of Swords in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. It could be that you're 
um, dealing with somebody like this. This could be somebody moving in fast. It's a lot of fast movement here around, I would say, the middle of the week for you. Uh, Leo, there's fast movement here. There could be fast uh, moving information coming towards you, something very important that comes in very quickly. Could be somebody, you know, rushing into your life. Could be a new person if it's on the, the romantic front. Um, for others of you, this could be about an offer, an, a verbal offer or a written offer that comes towards you, especially if you were working on a project, you managed to complete it, you know, you push everything forward really quickly. And now you have an offer. Could be some of you are maybe, you know, renovating a home to sell it. So you've done that. Now you, you know, you're moving towards the victory. And here comes the offer very quickly coming out of nowhere. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can come out of nowhere. Sometimes the Knight of Swords um, communication can be a little aggressive, though. Um, so it could be coming at you very fast and um, take you aback somewhat. And like, as far as who this person is or how they're uh, pertaining to your week, Leo, remember, only take what resonates. If it resonates, you'll know exactly who this person is. You'll know whether it's a romantic situation or whether it's something else. Whatever pertains to you, take that. And if it doesn't pertain to you, it's not your story. Check back next week or you can check your moon rising or Venus signs and see if you can get more information there. Now, the last card you have up is the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. This is all about releasing burdens <clears throat> and worries. In the upright position, this is where we're carrying a big burden, an oppressive load. It's too much to deal with, and we really need to release it. So this could be sometimes where people put too much pressure on us and we just keep saying yes, yes, yes. This could be co-workers, family members, friends, putting up more and more and more on our plate. Every time we turn around, they're adding more things to the to-do list. And when that's the case, it becomes too much of a burden. And if that's the case, we need to say no. We need to delegate or do other things to take the burden off. So perhaps some of you at the end of the week, that is what's happening. But for others of you, perhaps this information that comes in towards the end of the week, this you know fast moving energy that comes in, important information, comes in and relieves your worries. Maybe you have multiple worries that is cause, that's causing a burden for you. And when this news or information comes in, this helps you to release your worries. So very interesting. It looks like a, overall, looks like a really good week, especially the beginning of the week. I mean, you're just moving forward with full confidence and it looks like you already know that you're headed towards a victory. There's a lot of cooperation. And when, like I said, when there's cooperation, things end up moving very quickly and very smoothly. So looks like uh, good information is coming towards you, helps you to relieve your burden at the end of the week. Looks like a terrific week for you. I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.